So, uh, yes, and John plays Molina. Um, and DJ Snowman plays Ermac. And I'm trying to think what else he plays. He plays something else. Uh, Kotal Khan. I think those are the two. So he plays all variations of Kotal Khan. All right, we're at Emperor's Courtyard. So uh, he he plays a pretty solid um, Kotal Khan. DJ Snowman does. Uh, I really do enjoy enjoy watching him. All right, let's get into this here. So let's see if uh, Yesum John learned from his uh, <laughs> his tendency. He likes to. Um, do a raw roll a lot of times that ends in uh, a lot of punish uh, for the other player if, if if they see it coming. But right now, so far, he's done so super solid with not uh, getting. A, oh, there's a raw roll. We tell him not to do that. It's easily punishable um, if it if it gets blocked. But if it doesn't get blocked, he can convert some decent damage off of it. Very nice. Keeping some great pressure with his Molina right now. Oh, another roll. All right, pokes him out. Round two, fight. All right, another roll. Oh, there, there you go. There's the punish. So, um, and Kotal Khan has a very easy punish game. Several buttons. It'll convert into you know thirty percent damage. So. It's something that you definitely have to, to look out for uh, when you're playing a character like Melina. If you if you raw roll, it gets blocked. You you should be expecting to take about 30% damage. Uh, keeping him at range, and then nice uh, nice kind of vortex play here. He's he's alternating his over unders very well. All right, both uh, both players pretty even on health. Oh, Melina taking the uh, advantage here, keeping him at range, trying to poke him out with those uh, daggers. Ooh, uses the interactable. Doesn't convert anything off of it. Oop, EX, the ball. Nice. Nice juggle. First game going to Yesum John. Very nice. Lena's mouth creeps me out every time. Too many teeth. So appreciate everybody stopping out today. Sorry about the uh, audio issues uh, earlier. Um, new environments require different tuning of uh, our volumes. So, uh, and when you're working with uh, audio technology, you know things can run hotter uh, as far as like the electricity, so you get more power out of the mic sometimes. So, I understand we were deafening loud uh, at the beginning, and I apologize for that. All right, next game two here. Again, these are going to be best, best of five. Uh, so this is he. He went with his secondary. Or Max, see if he can convert uh, more, more damage off of this character. Uh, I I personally thought Kotal Khan was a, a decent character, especially with what Yesum John uh, likes to play. Uh, if he can if he can block some of the unsafe moves. Uh, then he can convert a lot more damage off of it. I'm not uh, terribly familiar with what Ermac can bring to the table, um, but let's see if he can combine the tools uh, of this character into to a win. Alright, so he's doing a lot better with this Ermac. Taking the round one of game two here. So I think what he's doing is, is he's being a lot more mobile. Uh, it's a lot harder for Molina to, to contact and, and get the, the conversions here. So being more mobile I think is uh, is helping him out here. He has a couple unblockables. Alright. Very simple combo, getting ten percent. He needs to convert some more damage off these openings. Oh, 
this is just kind of a poke match right now. Uh, both players get between 10 and 15 percent in their exchanges. Nobody's going for any long combos. All right, Molina taking round two here. So he's doing a bit better with his Ermac, um, but I, he's not converting a lot. Nice game here. Oh, nice. Armor's through. Converting some damage. What's he going to get? 27% 20 off? Or 27% off. 27% uh, damage. Very nice. So Molina's looking to, to have this game. Uh, pretty solid life lead right now. Um, Ermac's going to have to definitely put together a nice game plan. All right. Yep. That's what he needed. Can you convert this? 33, 35. Oh, into X-Ray. What is that going to convert to? It's going to be 50, over 50%. Now he has, uh, he has the life lead, but can he convert anything off of this and take the game? Oh, he blocks the roll and takes it. Game two going to DJ Snowman. Very smart play. So this is that's what we're talking about. The uh, the roll is is what gets him. <laughs> uh, that raw roll left him very unsafe. Uh, everybody in the other room right now is talking about it. All right. See if uh, see if he can uh, pull this off a bit cleaner than last time. Last time it was still very close. Um, All right, I will. I'll be right back here. Uh, being a solo man commentary and running the tournament, sometimes I'm gonna have to take a commentary break uh, to do some administrative things. So uh, go ahead and we'll watch this match as it unfolds. Uh, again, we got GTG Yesum John versus DJ Snowman uh, on Ermac and Yesum John on his Molina. Oh, Ermac takes round one. Very nice. All right, we'll be right back on the commentation. We are back. Apologize for that. We got to get some uh, Street Fighter Five registration going for the the, uh, the next round of the day. So we're still here in round two. Uh, Ermac has the life lead, but if Molina can convert some decent damage, which we know. Uh, yes, some John can do that. He could secure it. Wow. All right. Well, Ermac takes it. Uh, two one in uh, Ermac's favor right now. So that this change to Ermac was a smart decision. He's managed to, uh, you know, he squeezed out the the second game, um, but then had a pretty decided victory in the third game. Oh, nice combo! I think he's he's starting to get warmed up on the character, which is helping. Oh, look at this damage, forty percent. Very nice. I, I was I was a little uh, interested in the choice because he wasn't converting a lot of damage when he first switched to the character, but now he's he's managing to to get a lot more off of his punishes and, and it's showing um, he's, he's in a good lead oh what is he doing okay so he just went for a grab I think he panicked a little bit dropped the combo and just like he had some time so he just went for a grab round one of game four going to uh, DJ snowman this is this is set point if he wins this uh, he wins the best of, best of five and uh, takes the win over Yesim John, which would be a, a bit of a surprise. Uh, Yesim John's been pretty solid taking top threes um, at RCRs. Um, Northern Conflict, I'm pretty sure he got top three. And in fight, he's been doing very well uh, too. So he needs, to, uh, he needs to play a little safer. Uh, watch when he's uh, doing those, those raw rolls. And 
if, if he can continue to convert the damage that we know he can get, uh, he's going to do well. But Ermac is, is also playing a fairly solid game. He's got the unblockable. Ooh, another, another, went for another roll. Um, luckily it didn't, oh, he might get chipped out here. Can Ermac, can Ermac complete this? Oh, Molina's just got a, just got a tick off of him. All right, still um, game point here for Ermac if he can take the win. Oh, that raw roll will convert some damage. Someday, someday, uh, yes, and John will learn not to uh, do that raw roll. All right, another, another decent conversion of damage. He dropped it, but he got 29% off of it. He's a huge health lead right now. What he needs to do is not get excited and, and continue his game plan, and he's going to do well. All right. Oh, nice. Okay. Oop, jump in. All right, nice. He's doing 12%. He's not... Oh, he's good to grab. I think that's it. That's X-Ray. That's it. 3-1 going to DJ Snowman. All right. Let's pull up some brackets here. And then I will, will be right back on mic, or we'll have Yesum John on mic.